Nico B here with a let's play of Final Fantasy 16. <laughs> okay, I know this is a horribly awkward place to start this. Unfortunately, I don't believe there's a title screen. I think this just kind of cold uh, drops us right into it. But yes, the let's play for Final Fantasy 16 starts actually a little bit earlier than I was expecting. Because thankfully, we uh, have this demo that uh, just dropped uh, yesterday that essentially allows us to play the prologue of the game as it is in the main game. There's also apparently something that unlocks after you've beaten it where you essentially could play another part of the game with a bunch of new powers. But I'm not going to do that because I'd rather honestly just play that for the first time when I get there myself. But because this is honestly planned to be the next Let's Play anyway, I figured it might be uh, nice to sort of get a little start on this game and get a sneak peek of uh, what we can expect from Final Fantasy 16. Because I'm personally incredibly excited about this game. Final Fantasy 16 is honestly the first Final Fantasy, not including 7 Remake, all right? It is the first Final Fantasy, I think since possibly Final Fantasy 10 that I'm actually excited about. 11 and also 14 are MMOs, right? So that's never really piqued my interest. 12 was okay, but I, I didn't really love it. 13, I absolutely detested. <laughs> and unfortunately, the developmental issues of Final Fantasy 15 sort of destroyed my enthusiasm for that game. And honestly, when I went around and finally ended up playing it, I only played for like six hours before I got bored with it. But everything I've seen from this game, from Final Fantasy 16, proves to me one thing, is that, that this studio knows what it's freaking doing. This, this development team, Yoshi P, literally the guys who actually also made Final Fantasy 14, they know exactly what they're doing when they made this. And it looks incredible. I'm also so excited because this is actually the first Final Fantasy game to have an M rating. An actual mature M rated Final Fantasy. It's so freaking cool. And also the first to have a uh, really crazy action battle system. I and mean, granted, we still have that. And we have that to some extent in other ones like Final Fantasy 15 was kind of like that. And of course, 7 Remake as well. This one's designed by the one of the lead designers in from Devil May Cry. And you can freaking tell from all of the cool promotional footage they've shown for it. Like, honestly, it's kind of shocking to me because I am someone that loves RPGs, that's done a lot of Let's Plays of them on my channel, that I only have one Final Fantasy Let's Play on my channel, and that's 7 Remake. Like, that kind of blows my mind. But when you really sit back and look at, like, the past, like, several entries in the series, it sort of starts to make sense because they've all seemed kind of compromised to some extent. Some kind of issue that has plagued it, some horrible developmental hell that it had to go through to even see completion, or some crazy gameplay or story bits that just make the game incredibly undesirable to me. So I just have to say that it feels good. It feels good to finally be excited for a brand new Final Fantasy game for the first time in a freaking forever. And I cannot wait to experience what crazy narrative and story bits they have in this game. Because apparently this game is supposed to take a lot of notes from uh, Game of Thrones with a lot of political intrigue and stuff, which is, I mean, to be fair, they've done that before. That, that was in most notably Final Fantasy Tactics, which is also another one of my favorite Final Fantasy games. But this one, compared to Final Fantasy Tactics, has definitely got way more goddamn cinematography and cinematic qualities. That's going to be like watching a fucking movie, I bet, at times. But yeah, uh, we still have technically about a week until the full release of the game. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and take a look at the starting hours of Final Fantasy 16. And the cool thing, too, is that the, all my save data here will actually carry over into the main game. So um, so feature several chapters of Final Fantasy 16's first act. All safe progress can carry over the main game. Hope you enjoy your time in Valistia. Thank you. Uh, screen brightness. Uh, yeah, I think it looks fine. Uh, subtitles, yes. Controller vibration, yes. Text English, yep, yep. Uh, graphics. Nope, I want that frame rate, baby. Give me the frame rate. Uh, visual alerts. Enable on-screen waveform that provides visual representation of in-game. Oh, no, no, we're good. Story focus. Begin the game equipped with several accessories that simplify gameplay. Recommend for those who are less comfortable with action games. Action focus. Standard equipment. Recommend for those who are comfortable with action games. That'd be me. That, I am Devil May Cry, man. I know my way around a uh, good action game here. Okay. Here we go. I think it just kind of throws us into it. It was Moss the Chronicler who said that the land of Valistia 
is blessed in the light of the Mother Crystals. And that it was this light which finally led our forebears out of the darkness. Yet, what they saw in the light gave rise to temptation. Temptation that ever lures us back into the crystal shadow. And thus did our journey begin. Cool! Know what he's talking about, oh, hell yeah, let's go! By the way, yes, I did buy the collector's edition for this game. Where the bird and Ifrit are just fucking fighting each other. It's like a giant figure of that. Because I just had a sick feeling that this game is just going to be sick. Ah! God damn. Okay. Start crazy right off the bat. Oh shit! Wait, wait, wait who am I? Oh, I, I'm the Phoenix. Ah, burn, bitch! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Fucking hell! Uh, ah! Oh shit! I think I got hit. You might have dodged too early there. Eat this shit, Ifrit! Why are we fighting? I don't know! Fuck you, though! You need to die! Ugh, I don't think so. Oh my god, this fucking music. Oh shit! God damn, I was like falling through the falling down there felt like some Lord of the Rings shit. Oh my god! Ah! Cool! What the fuck was that? Year of the Realm 873. Lords of the Realm 2. The N Niza Defile, the D Dharma G G Republic. Oh, this guy's got a mark on his face too, like me. Okay. Oh, is that like the mark of the people that can use these crazy icons thing? It might be. It'll be light soon. Both camps have begun to stir. You all know the target. Shiva's dominant. Or maybe it's... And only the dominant. Maybe it's part of our little group no one else. thing. Where's the fun in that? How do we even know the girl will be among them? Our kind do not question orders. We follow them. Try to keep that in mind. God, the faces look insane. Let's get this done. So we know, like, I mean, they've already shown a good bit of this game, right, in the promo stuff. So we know this was take place at three points during our main character's uh, life, right? So I'm not sure if this is actually the latest. I think this actually might be the middle. Focus, Wyvern. You are key to this mission's success. Yeah. I think this is like when he's like a young adult. Yes, Sergeant. Or his 20s, I think. Oh, interesting. The so the uh, the cinematics are in thirty or twenty twenty four or something. Left stick to move. Hold on, game. Calm down. Can't keep up with this shit. But then the gameplay is in sixty. Press start any time outside a cutscene to open the main menu. 
All right. It makes very racist so the camera version can be just uh, on the tab. Uh, it makes Don't sense though. Problems. It's it's All good. About to break loose. I don't have to get too crazy. System tabs, goose wires, settings. Okay, bigger, bigger, bigger. Yeah, no access to a uh, equipment or anything yet. Probably he's trapped in tutorial land for a while. I love the way he. Uh, yeah, our guy, our guy here's name's Clive, right? So I love how Clive wears his uh, his sword. He's supposed to be like his right shoulder. It looks so cool. God damn, it is silky fucking smooth. I tell you what. Now I have given the ability to run. We're just in time. Wait, did I just see there was a jump button? The Republic Army of Fort something. the music for the classic Final Fantasy theme in there. These high blood are more beast than man. Where this is going, they won't need this new dominant of theirs. What? I think the mark on our face is more of our a mark for our whatever band of mercenaries this seems to be. God damn, she looks crazy. The Zenitra Stronghold. The nice to defile. What do you mean you refuse? Did you not pledge your swords to our cause? Come now. Marshal, the King of Walud is our guest. Everyone's so fucking hot in this game. And you have His Majesty's answer. What the fuck? <laughs> Here, have some water crystal. I wonder that you summoned us at all. Have you so little faith in your own men? It was the Dalmex who drove back the Crusaders in the Battle of the Twin Realms, was it not? Or am I mistaken? Besides... Your dominant has yet to take the field. And when he does, our knights would only get in the way. Perhaps you have not heard, but the Iron Blood now have their own dominant. We would be fools to underestimate them. Bugger their knights. What did you say? Bugger. Should this citadel be allowed to fall? The capital will lie exposed. That is a large man. And I doubt the Crusaders will wait for the good king's pawns to line up before taking to the board. God, the voice acting is so good. That was a very nice. Just leaves me. Toka! The Iron Blood will rule the day they set foot on Storm. This game is over. 
So I think this guy's Titan, right? He also just looks like Titan. And I think she's Garuda. They've honestly, like I said, they show quite a bit in the promo material. In the trailers. You cock. <laughs> you cock and balls! Benedictum. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah. Come here, baby. Oh, yeah. Take care. Does the lion take care when he chases the hare? <laughs> I'll show you a you cock. Me one of the latter? No, my love. You are a lion. You're my lion. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm not oh. afraid of a little frost. Addictor. This is what I've been looking for in my foul fantasy games. To warm me when I come home. Some sex? <sighs> oh shit. We're gonna do it right here in the hallway. I don't give a fuck if these knights are watching. In fact, I want them to watch. The front lines are gone. This is our chance. The chaos will conceal us. God, the graphics look fucking incredible. They actually look way better in person than they did in the videos and promo material, in my opinion. I mean, Grant, I guess that should be obvious, but, like, I don't know. The details just... Yeah, they just look way better. Which shows you how much the bitrate from uh, the videos and stuff kind of crushed it. Yeah, there is a jump. I mean, granted, we're playing essentially Devil May Cry Final Fantasy, so I suppose it, it would make sense. It's actually not it's actually not like the double my cry jump either or the hi-fi rush jump which was essentially like this you like leap and then fall like a fucking brick and i always i never loved it i never loved the jump in devil may cry or in hi-fi rush so i'm glad this actually has a little bit of floatiness to it but yeah i'm definitely picking up on the game of thrones uh style of story here which i'm fine with honestly like i like political intrigue i actually watched uh uh game of thrones and uh house of dragon Damn, look at these. Seriously, look at these fucking rocks, dude. These, like, mountainsides. I'm actually not sure if this game is made in Unreal 5 or Unreal 4. Or... It's definitely not fucking luminous. It might be Unreal 5. I don't know, you guys can tell me, because I'm kind of curious. The rock formations look crazy, though. And quick and deadly, as always. <sighs> Take the van. We have a van? Take the minivan. Okay. Wait. Something's not right. I parked it right here. Where the hell did it go? Oh, shit! Titan? Oh, yeah. Titan. Darmax finally grew tired of being slaughtered. God damn! <laughs> and look who's here to greet the bastard. Come on. So I've heard that, you know, Final Fantasy XIV has like insane music. Soaking. I know he did 15 as well, or uh, bits of 15. But I never heard like a full one of his like soundtracks, I'd say. But I'm already pretty impressed. Holy shit. Woo! God, this shit looks like it's actually all in engine too. Like this shit does not look pre-rendered. Or if it is, it's very well hidden. Small woman versus large man. Push the shit out of that. Oh, time to get anime. Let's go. Let's go, bitch. Arrgh!
Ah, why are we down here? Are we really contributing in any way? Ah! Ah! You don't get to die here, Wyvern. Move! Wyvern! Why Wyvern? <laughs> oh, fuck me! <laughs> That's my line. Yeah, fuck me. Running, running, running. Holy shit. You guys calm down. You're fucking up the environment. Ah! Oh my God, dude, this game is going to sell like a billion copies. I'm telling you right now, this shit is crazy. <laughs> Look at them dropping the F-bomb in my Final Fantasy game. I like it. Oh, shit. Anytime, Wyvern. Well, excuse me. God, why is there such a dickhead to me? Uh oh. Ah, ah, ah. Oh my god. Shit. Oh, well, I guess fuck. Oh, splat. I see you for talking smack earlier. Ah! This is going very well. What are we hoping to accomplish at this point? Wyvern. Wyvern. I told you before, you do not get to die here. That guy, though. Brother. I think he means his brother in arms here. I think. Hi. Oh. Hi, Clive. Now hopping back even further. Suddenly I'm a babu. 13 summers earlier, year of the... Year of the Realm 860. Rosalith, the Grand Duchy of Rosaria. Well, if you're not cut out to be a shield, there's always work for you in the stables. Unless, of course, you think you can defend your master while sat on your ass in a puddle of pig swill. I'm sure he'd find a way. My brother always looks after me. <laughs> well, they got, right? got actual children. Go on. You're sure to hit him eventually. Don't give up now. To voice these 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 actual children, doggo. It's the doggo that has swept the internet by storm. Two arms. It wouldn't do to disappoint the gallery. Okay, it's time to learn a fight now. Let's start again from the beginning. Come, show me your form. Okay. Attack the Lord Commander. Next you to four hit combo. Square to four melee co melee attack. Up to four attacks to be chained together. Sounds good. Once more. Alright. Good. Very good. Such swordsmanship will serve you well in the field. But can the same be said of your spellcraft? The flames of the phoenix burn within you. Now let them burn without. Interesting. So, the, so I'm Delta, initially. Rain fire down upon me. So the phoenix is my initial uh, icon or whatever. So what they call it not Adalon. So it's, it's actually not Ifrit, even though Ifrit seemingly is like in most of the promo material. Trial to cast fire, a range spell that can strike enemies from great distances. 
Excellent. Okay, so this is essentially like my gun. Keep them coming. Oh, we got a lock on too. All right. It's like Kingdom Hearts. Well done. You wield the Firebird's flames just as a first shield should. You flatter me, my lord. My lord? Or would you rather I flattened you? Can be arranged. Let's see if you can elude my blade. After all, your attacking prowess will count for naught if you don't live long enough to use it. Okay. On your toes, Lord Rossfield. Stay quick on your feet. R1 to evade the enemy's attack. Evading an enemy attack at the price slice moment is dealt will temporarily slow down the enemy, make it more susceptible to counter using a uh, square triangle. All right, let's see if we can do this. Not quite. Just like so. You dodge that? I was sure I had you. That was amazing. Nice try. <laughs> oh shit, that feels fucking good. Come on. All right. Good. Very snappy. Remember, Clive, your blade is not your only weapon. Quickness of thought and fleetness of foot are indispensable arms in any shield's arsenal. But you are not just any shield, are you? Show me what sets you apart from the rest. You have been blessed by the Phoenix, granted the use of its power. Call upon that power now to close on me. Okay. Well, I'm waiting. Close the gap. Execute a phoenix shift three times. Iconic feats. The blessing of the phoenix grants Clive the ability to perform feats of inhuman strength and dexterity. Phoenix shift is one such iconic ability. Press circle to swiftly close the distance in on a distant target. Both melee and ranged attacks magic can be used while executing a phoenix shift. Ah, okay. Good. Fly at your foe before he can raise his gun. Ah, yeah, I see. Cool. Teleport! Impressive. But even the most agile shield cannot hope to escape every blow. And death may come by a handful of cuts as easily as it comes by a thousand. There is only one way to ensure that you do not fall. Keep your wounds mended and your energies replenished. Okay. Speaking of which, give me my Estus flask. You seem a little worse for wear. Now that won't do at all. Mend your wounds, but you haven't hit me yet. Consumable items such as potions and tonics can be used to restore Clive's HP or temporarily boost attributes. Consumables can be signed to up, down, up, right, down. The items tab for quick, convenient use. These can be used for directly from the menu. All right. <sighs> Here we go. That's better. Battle is a succession of pivotal moments, wherein life and death can be decided at a single stroke. You must be ready to utilize every tool at your disposal if you are to navigate a path to victory, or at the very least, to ensure that you live to fight another day. Enough practice. It's time for the test. You've recovered from your soaking, I trust. You wouldn't want to kick a man while he's drowned. I thought you'd never ask. Come then, Lord Rossfield. Spar with me. If you believe yourself worthy to be called Shield of the Flame, then prove it. As you wish, my lord. Okay. Me, boy. Make proof of your strength. Oh shit. This music sound very actually kind of very similar to Final Fantasy IX. Or, e or even eight. Uh breaking an opponent's will. The will gauge indicates an opponent's will to fight back. Break the spirit by landing attacks and strike them when they're vulnerable. Go on. You're sure to be like, I'm level five and he's level fifteen, by the way. Ow. Just stay calm. Oh, I'm pressing the wrong button. Shit. It's not circle to dodge, it's uh, Sir will me up. Nice try. What a 
taking this seriously. Keep going, Clive. There we go. Staggering your enemies. Lord Murdoch's will has been broken, leaving him staggered. Try dealing as much damage as you can before he regains his senses. Use R2 and Squirt to execute Rising Flames, a powerful iconic ability granted Clive by the blessing of the Phoenix. The power of a god! Bonk. And used all the tools at my disposal. See you, bitch. Da -da -da! Combat feels great. Damn, do you were like 10 levels above me? How the hell did I beat you? He won! See? I told you he could do it. I... So my brother must have the icon of Ifrit then. Best is at last. It's taken me long enough. That was a display worthy of your father. You are a true shield of the flame and let no one tell you otherwise. Including me. What are you lot gawping at? Back to your drills. Gawping at? What are you doing here? Come on, Clive, walk it off. Yeah, he is. Wait, wait, when is Ifrit ever had healing? Healing fire. Joshua, I was just tired. The Phoenix's flames are a gift. You mustn't waste them. It isn't a waste. My shields look after me. Why shouldn't I? <laughs> oh. That's why. You were coughing this morning, too. You shouldn't be outdoors. Maybe he's also Phoenix? Be fine. It's just a cold. Maybe we both like Don't push yourself. borrow from the same icon? His grace has returned. Try to figure out this. Father's back. The rules of this shit work. <laughs> Father! Your grace, please. Uh, this is no place for one such as you. I would gladly brave hell itself to see my darling boy. Gentlemen, Rosaria thanks you for your indefatigable loyalty. Thank you, Your Grace. We live to serve. You're so hot, Your Grace! Joshua. You should not be out of doors. We have discussed this. I'm sorry. Good day to you. Mother. Come, Joshua. Your father will be expecting us. How's that look? Hmm. Am I not like the bio her biological Lord son Murdoch. or something? Or Your Grace. She just pissed at me. Okay, brother is Seemingly very sickly. What a way to treat your own flesh and blood. I know. It's not his fault. Not everyone can be born the Phoenix. We should join them. No. No, they're related. By blood. So you might have just been giving that look like, hey, why are you letting him come out here, right? <gasps> My father, the king! And his royal chocobo burb! Damn, look at that bird strutting his shit. Damn, my dad's cool. Take my royal hat, peasant. Rise, 
my friends. Welcome home, Father. Thank you, Joshua. You are well, I trust? Yes, Father. Much better. Today, Jill and I went to the bay to watch Clive Spa. Is that so? <gasps> Bobby! Stop. Stop it, boy. Not now. Oh, my God, he's a little baby. He'll make a fine hound one day. Father. Lift up your head, girl. Thank you, Your Grace. Oh, puppy. You can't the bet the puppy. Rejoices at your safe return. Release Grace. to the cutscene. War is coming, my boy. We must make ready. Is the situation truly so grave? Come to the throne room. We will talk there. Yes, Father. Your Grace. Is that the dismissed. Matthew Mercer slash Troy Baker? Kind of sound like it, but similar tone, just with the accent. God damn, the production value of this game is fucking crazy. Oh, he's chasing a butterfly. Where do you think you're going? Hmm? Clive here is off to see the Archduke. Right. Sunrise, sunset. It's like the name of the chapter or something? Finding your way. Should you find yourself lost, do not fret. Hold L3 to trust your animal instinct. Point you in the right direction. Your current destination will be displayed with a red marker. Is trouble brewing? Ooh. I'm not sure. I need to speak with father. Oh, the frame rate. Frame rate. Okay, frame rate is not 60 anymore. Okay, so it's definitely not a consistent solid 60 frames per second. It's favoring it, but it seems like it's more of an uncapped frame rate with probably a max of 60. But yeah, when it starts getting start loading a bunch of shit, then whoo -wee! Yeah, it's probably down to like, it's probably more like 40 right now. That's fine, though. To be fair, uh, I remember Kingdom Hearts 3 having that problem, too, back when it was on the uh, PS4. Granted, I'm playing the PS. This is the PS5. I think this game is actually a PS5 exclusive too. Um, I can't seem to just attack right off the bat. I don't know if I'll be able to just like run around smack shit like a like a Dark Souls game or something. Uh, I can't jump as high as a child. Ah, okay, gotcha. Can I see my? Hey, my stats. All right. The attributes tab for a comprehensive view overview of Clive's current level, stats, abilities, and gear. All right, level five. Oh, that's cool. I can look at each one of my stats. It tells me specifically what it does. Player will directly affects uh, stagger ability. But to overwhelm an opponent is determined via a combination of mental aptitude and gear quality. Gotcha. Oh, that's cute. Look at the bottom right. You got a little like Final Fantasy VI uh, chibi sprites uh, versions of ourselves. Cute. The Rosarian Oath. Upon joining the Ducal Army, all future shields receive a longsword that not only serves as their weapon, but represents the oath they take to defend Rosaria and her people. The blade of this particular weapon is approximately a hand shorter than those used by most, making it more suitable for a squire not yet fully grown. Rosarian Belt. Designed more for keeping one's trousers in place and stopping the head of an axe. Those expecting any discernible protection from this basic accessory will be sorely disappointed. Now, I do know from also from people's discussion in the game too that unfortunately there doesn't seem to be a fashion souls in this game so the the uh the armor stuff you get won't actually change your appearance which does kind of suck a little bit it's not i mean to be fair that's not uncommon for most rpgs it's actually it's actually more rare for them for it to let you do that but it would have been kind of neat granted i can also understand them wanting you to have like a you know an iconic design uh i'm tab this old not gear currently in Kai's possession include those using the quest consumable items are supposed to be used any time from this tab I was going to be assigned to shortcuts for quick access. Okay. Stone skin tonic. Increases defense by 30% for 90 seconds. So potion heals 20% of max HP and high potion is 40%. 
Gotcha. Uh, shield Ensign. A brazen seal re received by all Ducal shields upon completion of their accolade. May the blessing of the crystals go with us and shield the Firebird's flames forevermore. Ducal Shield Oath. The journal tab contains information on main story progress as well as current and complete side quests. Sunrise Sunset. Ah, oh, yeah, okay. That's, that's the, that was the name of the quest. As the Duchy readies itself for a war with the Iron Kingdom. Oh, God, Iron King. God really is taking a lot from Game of Thrones here. Uh, it's most bitter and long-standing of rivals. So too does Clyde prepare to do his duty as first shield of Rosaria to protect and serve his brother Joshua, dominant of the Phoenix. Okay, so so Joshua is the dominant of the Phoenix, and the the Phoenix is the icon. Like the summons themselves, I think, are called icons. So then, I guess I'm just like borrowing his power essentially. Main scenario progress. Pride is the year 860, and with the coming of spring, does Green once again return to the grand? Duchy of Rosaria and the Baileys of Rosalith Castle, men who have sworn their swords to their country, train in anticipation of a coming conflict. Make sure that one young man in particular endeavors to prove himself worthy to the ones he loves. To kill a dominant. As Don breaks over Nysa Defile in 873. Okay, so then, yeah, 13 years later. Okay, so this is like all the stuff we, we've done, I guess. The armies of Dalmichia and the Iron Kingdom gather and their icons. Titan of the Republic and Shiva of the Orthodoxy makes ready to take the field. Meanwhile, high above it all, a small party of branded assassins serve the battlefield like hawks in search of prey. Okay, that's it. Branded assassins. And their brand and the brand is the thing on their face. A flame summoned. The night burns red as the twin titans clash. This is the very beginning. Uh, dressed in flame, they vie for dominance. One a beacon of hope, the other an apparition. An affront to the law very laws of nature. There's no room in this world for both, for there can only be there could be only one icon of fire. Interesting. So that's why they're fighting each other, huh? So maybe my icon is Ifrit after all, but I'm borrowing the power of Phoenix from my brother. Uh, gear and icons. Used to for equipping weapons and armor, as well as like signing icon abilities in available slots. Oh, here are the accessories that are essentially used to uh, make the game easier. This is like for accessibility stuff. So Ring of Timely Focus. When equipped, time slows before an evadable enemy attack strikes Clive. In fact, when equipped with the Ring of Timely Evasion. Will automatically evade attacks as long as the attack attack can be evaded. When equipped, complex uh, ability combinations can be executed by simply pressing square. Will automatically use a potion when HP falls below a certain level. Yeah, definitely not going to be using those. But I think it's nice that they have it. I mean, because this is such a big departure for Final Fantasy, so I, I get why they're like sort of worried that might turn some people off who aren't used to it. Holy shit, they have a list of licensing in here. Just direct from the menu. Oh, wow, it goes on for a while, too. Hmm. Let me check the different control options here. We do have one where evade is on circle, which I actually think I might like better. I think I might switch to control type B here. It's actually, it actually makes it more like Dark Souls, funny enough. I actually almost wish I could make it uh, square is my uh, range and then triangle is my attack because that's actually more like Devil May Cry controls. There's actually a taunt button. All right, let's get this stuff. Oh, we got stuff. Uh, finding items. Useful items can be found across the realm by those who know where to look. Items can be discovered by... Can be viewed on the items tab in the main menu. Wait, did I see what I got? I think I missed the mint. Where it actually said it was. Oh, I think it was just a potion. Yeah, seemingly you gotta just listen to people talk around you. I know my money's on. I really like going over and pressing X to talk to them, which is, again, very Final Fantasy X. I was also in a lot of that game, too. Oh, wait. Nope. I can talk to you, though. You put on quite the show for us, Lord Rossfield. Any man who can do that deserves to be first shield. Age and experience be damned. Thanks, dude. Need to shift this lot before we lose the light. Oh, I can't jump over this, really? Make sure you get a good edge on that, eh? Good edge on that, eh? Nothing down there but rats and rogues, my lord. My lord? No one is to enter the dungeons, including you, my lord. I wanna. Nothing down there but rats and rogues, my lord. Oh, <laughs> we'll go carry the puppy. Puppy. God damn. He was just pretty as fuck to look at, too. Ah, yes. That's why that little way over there was blocked, so. Make sure I went this way. <laughs> some some boxes I just couldn't possibly jump over. Oh, this guy's got the mark on his face too. 
It is near. Uh, uh, uh. Forgive me, Lord Marquess, pray do not concern yourself with this bungling cur. Bow to him, you fool. Uh, 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 Did I say to speak? It was no trouble, really. Oh, do not indulge him. To be allowed to stand in your lordship's presence is more than his kind deserves. Why, neither the Empire nor the Republic treat their bearers half so well. He was lucky to be born in your father's dominion. Very lucky, as I remind him every day. Stand, please. Stand. I trust his good fortune will continue. Of course, if that is your lordship's wish. Don't work too hard. Remember, it is for the good of the duchy that you serve. As do we all, my lord. As do we all. Come along now. Back to your duties. <laughs> I wonder how old my guy's supposed to be at this point. Like 15 or something? Doc's so cute. Have we seen out the girl's name yet? They said her name? Looks like they're getting ready for supper. <laughs> I think someone's hungry. Aw. Yeah, so they're using the, like, crystal to make water. It's even this thing is not filling up at all. I'm having my bearer fill the well. To save what crystals we can, eh? we Interesting. Okay, bearer. slave master. So, and they all have their own bearers. Which is what they like what the other guy was. Huh. Having a feast. Seamless transition. And quiet in here, the down it? gardens. God damn, Bobby. God damn, Bobby. It's fucking pretty in here, Bobby. Oh, the foliage actually does move underneath my feet. I've always, that's always been a like a really nice touch when games do that. There's Joshua. Joshua. What the hell? Oh, they're using they're using the power of wind to cut the hedges. Cute. Marquis, forgive my man, he'll be done in the jiffy. Just getting the place tidied up for the big procession. Yeah, so they, especially these guys all have their own, like, the people that are running the castle, especially have slaves that they call bearers that are actually doing all the work for them. <laughs> Which is kind of fucked. Hello, Joshua. Clive? Hi. Are you worried about the war? The soldiers will expect the Phoenix to help them, but I don't know if I can. Don't worry, Joshua. Father will guide you. And I will protect you. Always. I know. Thank you, Clive. Darling, you sure hope nothing happens to him! <laughs> that child is the future. We must be protected. All other concerns are insignificant. Hi, Mom. They're poaching. God damn it. Is she going to be like fucking through five every two days? Every two seconds, I was going to run around five and nine. It's another fucking potion. Damn it. Call Roxas. All right, we got to throw that shit back on the pile. Lord knows he's still got a stockpile of them stored somewhere. I swear to God. Making an effort. Some large gates and stiff levers require extra effort. Use X to access them, then R2 to pressure pull. The fuck am I playing God of War now? Where every chest has to be like violently lifted up. Arr! 
Her chest is heavy as fuck. My lord! Put those swords down. Good luck. Bye. Bye, girl and puppy. God, for a second, the dog winked at me. You commanded my presence, Your Grace. How may I serve you? All right, you can stop licking my boots. Mother isn't here. Do the territories fare any better? Most lie under a pall of black. In just these few moons, the blight has taken nigh on all of the northern reaches. It is only a matter of time before it crosses the border. By the flames. By the flames! Nearly every by the gods! The capital is already occupied by those fleeing the Deadlands. Even if we were to send them south to Port Isolde, more would only follow in their wake. Every day we delay brings us closer to disaster. We must move now. Against the Iron Kingdom. We have traded blows with them for too long. It is time to end it. At the very least, we must secure Drake's breath. Without the blessing of the Mother Crystal, we cannot defend our realm from the spread of the Blight. The Iron Blood will not relinquish it easily. This will be a bitter fight. We ride for Phoenix Gate tomorrow. There we will listen to the words of our ancestors, as tradition dictates. Am I to go with you as Joshua Shield? There is something else I would have you do first. Rodney. You will have heard the reports, I am sure, of beastmen from the north being sighted within our borders. Goblins in the Stillwind Marshes. I know of the rumors, yes. Then you know what must be done. I will give you two good men. The fucking goblins! When we ride north tomorrow, you will journey to Stillwind, search it, and clear it. Then you will join us at Phoenix Gate. Here, here. It is time to prove your strength. And shut your mother up for good. Hmm? <clears throat> I will do my duty, Your Grace. I think I'm missing some contacts with the mom here. That will be all. Rest well. We ride at dawn. Yes, Your Grace. That's for whatever reason the mom doesn't just think he's capable. Active Time Lore. Hold uh, the touchpad to access the Active Time Lore. ATL feature. A compilation of important information relevant to Clive's, Clive's curve storyline progress. ATL can be used during most cutscenes. All TL interests can be accessed later in the game. Woo! Oh, good. I think I might get some context here after all. Uh, Rosalith Castle. Situated in the heart of the ducal capital of Rosalith, it is from this towering ivory fortress that the Archduke and his family ruled their nation. An architectural feat in the founder himself would be proud of, the castle has stood since the early days of the duchy and watched over the rise of this proud nation and the people who inhabit the city beneath it. The Mo Mother Crystals. Enormous glassy mountains, five of which tower over the lands of Valicia. They are the source of all the crystals that the people of the Twins rely on in their daily, everyday lives. Not only that, but the lands surrounding them are rich with ether, making the magics the crystals cast even more potent. For these reasons, great nations have sprung up around each mother crystal and have longed war with each other for possession of their blessing. 
Gotcha. The Iron Kingdom. Also known in the local tongue as Heron, the Iron Kingdom is an archipelago nation so situated off the west coast of Storm, with its capital at Craig Lois. Lois the Mother Crystal Drake's Breath rises from a volcanic island situated just within or without its borders, depending on whom you ask, and has been the subject of long standing conflict between the Iron Blood and the neighboring kingdom, or the neighboring Duchy of Rosaria. The Iron Kingdom's inhabitants shun any contact with the outsiders, which has given rise to a unique, if largely inward looking, culture. Elwyn Rossfield, Archduke of the Grand Duchy of Rosaria and the father of Clive and Joshua. Loved by his people for his steadfast leadership both at home and on the battlefield, which he put to good effect in quelling the rebellious northern territories. And the Grand Duchy of Rosaria, a nation occupying the western reaches of the continent of Storm, with Rosalith as its capital. Rosaria was originally formed from a collection of smaller dominions, all of which now stand united under the banner of Archduke Elwyn Rosfield. Not possessing a mother crystal of its own, the duchy has long been locked in bitter conflict with the, Arch or with the Iron Kingdom over possession of Drake's breath, which lies still further to the west in the midst of the boiling sea. I see. All right. So we are all pissy because we both want this big ass crystal because it gives us a bunch of cool shit. Gotcha. Makes sense. We drove the iron blood from our shores once before. But their patriarch still dreams of spreading his message to Storm. And when the Crusaders march, they move a damn sight quicker than the Blight ever did. What the Blight so is? we recapture the Mother Crystal, end their ambitions, and secure the Duchy. Only the light of the Phoenix can guide us through these dark days. But that does not mean I'm happy asking this of Joshua. Look after him, won't you? Even if it costs me my life. Let's make sure it doesn't come to that. I'm trusting in you to keep your brother safe. I'm trusting in you to keep your brother safe. This war we meet to wage. It isn't only for control of the Mother Crystal. Above all else. We cannot allow those Ironblood savages to gain a foothold on Storm. I know. I would sooner die than see them darken our shores again. I wish you a safe journey tomorrow. And I you, Clive. May your blade strike true. Interesting. Get a good night's sleep, Clive. The morrow may ask much of you. The morrow! I like how we talk. All medieval-like, I say. Yeah, it's actually very similar to how they talked also in Final Fantasy Tactics. Well, or at least in the War of the Lions version. The, the original version there, that, that localization was not great. It was sort of hilariously bad. No messages, my lord. No messages on your answering machine, my lord. Behold! My kingdom! It's fucking glorious! And most of these doors I can't fucking interact with. Okie dokie. And so night fell. Mm, that's some good mead. Witch, give me some more mead. How long will you be away this time? Oh, hi, honey. Not long. Four days, maybe five. And you will be taking Joshua. Well, I can't exactly leave him behind, can I? The blood of the Rosfields runs in his veins. Before going to war, we perform the rite at Phoenix Gate. It's our way. You know that. And only the dominant can enter the apothecary, so yes, I'm taking Joshua. Oh, to hell with your way! The boy is ill. You think I don't know that? But the boy is also the phoenix. The heir to the throne. You can't keep him in swaddling clothes all of his life. Elwyn! Don't worry. Clive will watch over him. Though he is a youth of but 15 years. Oh, yes, I was right. He's a fine soldier. 
will make a splendid shield. Good guess. You see more in him than the Phoenix did. He was rejected, Elwyn. Our household has no place for such a failure. He is oh. worthless. A man like any other. Ugh. As am I, my dear. <laughs> Nonsense. You are the Archduke of Rosaria. Oh, not this again. You know as well as I do that I only sit upon the throne because my father was taken before his time. I am merely warming the seat till Joshua comes of age. You are your father's firstborn son. Oh, shit. And you sit upon the throne. All is in its right place. Oh, we see who wears the pants of this relationship. Unlike some, you have not disgraced our noble blood. Without men like Clive to keep us safe, your precious noble blood would long since have graced the gutter. We have an early start. I'm going to sleep. I say. Yeah, this chick's a bitch. <laughs> My mom sucks. Interesting, though. So, he also tried to call upon the power of the Phoenix or something. But this is it, then. Time to prove yourself. But he failed. Wishing on a star. Yeah, he could still seemingly use the power to some extent, right? I'm a little old for that. I should get some sleep. Right. You're going with them tomorrow, aren't you? I am Joshua's shield. I'm sworn to protect him. He takes too many risks. I only wish I could save him from himself. Clive, you... I have another mission too. Father has given me my first command. Well, if you're not going to pray to Metia for your safe return, I shall just have to do it for you. A single tear doth fall. There's going to be another war, isn't there? Since coming here, I've begun to take peace for granted. I assumed the war between our nations would be the last. But it never really ends, does it? No. The next war will be bigger than before. But you'll be all right, won't you, Clive? You're a shield of Rosaria, after all, and blessed by the Phoenix. It's getting cold. We should go in. My lady. Good night, Clive. Who are you? I don't think anyone said your name yet. They did, I missed it. I really don't think they did though. This was like the first line that Joshua said to, to her or something. Who are you? Woo! We're off on our quest. Sorry, Ambrosia. We won't be hunting today. <laughs> Work. Don't worry. I'm sure you'll do brilliantly. Mm, I'll try. 
Boy! Get over here, boy! Good luck! I'm sure everything won't go wrong. Friends, we ride for Phoenix Gate. We're onwards. May the blessing of the crystals go with us to Camelot. His grace departs. Open the gates. Look at all this regal bullshit. Lord Rossfield, allow me. I shall see her safely to Phoenix Gate. Thank you. Guess I'll just run there. We're ready to depart, my lord. I'm gonna call I you Ding Dong and Doodley. It is to serve alongside you. Ah, oh, yeah. That's a manly handshake. You don't grab the hand, you grab the whole wrist. If there are goblins in Stillwind, they won't leave willingly. The beastmen are a fierce foe. We underestimate them at our peril. Not today, we won't. Oh, the lipstick in this is crazy. So wait, Sir Tyler, let us do our duty. With pleasure, my lord. As you command. To the marshes, then. And may the blessing of the crystals go with us. Are you guys Biggs and Wedge? You've got to be right. Hey! Alright, so this is the world map, huh? Yeah. Interesting. So the overworld map is like... It's not like a seamless transition of, Oh, I walk through here and I go to this, this place or whatever. It's actually like picking it on a spot. The world map displays all the locations indicated by glowing pins. Currently available to climb via fast travel. Still wind. Unable to travel this location. Damn it. I want to go back. Still wind. Rest in Rosaria. There was a time not long ago that the songs of civilization echoed through still wind's not knotted bows. Now the settlement lie, the summons lie abandoned, and the only sounds to escape this forsaken place are the house of beasts that have fled the deadlands to make the box their home. Wee. Keep your eyes open for those goblins. The reports placed them in this area. It's all swamps from here. Watch your step, my lord. <laughs> and everything else. Don't step in the doo-doo, my lord. Lost in a fog. Uh, time accessories! Ah, I'm good. So, hey! Alright, I can actually... Okay, I see. Yeah, this is. I, I should be checking this like every. as much as I possibly can. Stone Marsh, an area of swampland that stretches northeast from Rosalith Castle. The odd, oh, odd village could once be found here, but nothing compares to the lively settlements that line the main roads of the realm. And with the encroachment of the blight and the creatures driven before it, even the sent, scant settlements were soon to desert it. So, Wade, damn it! Really, no so, Sir Biggs and Wedge? I thought for sure. Uh, Sir Wade, a loyal shield of Rosaria chosen by Lord Commander Rodney Murdoch to accompany Clive on his expedition to Stillwind. Once but a lowborn page, Wade has inspi inspired to join the ranks after a wood pile fell on him and his life was saved by young Joshua. Uh, loyal shield of Rosaria, a scion of noble family, uh, Tyler followed in his fa father's footsteps in entering the service of the duchy, rising to the position of right hand to the Lord Commander. He was chosen by Lord Mardok to accompany Clive on his expedition to Stillwind. A level head 
could not be could be trusted not only to obey the young Lord Marquez's orders and keep him safe, but to help keep the fiery Sir Wade in line. Goblins, a common species of beastmen. While at first glance, they seem like mindless predators. Goblins have their own unique language and are skilled enough to both cast magics and make rudimentary tools and weapons. While mostly found in the continent of the storm, the spread of the blight has forced them to find nearby homes nearby human settlements, a move that oft ends in misunderstanding and bloodshed. So say there's actually a way to X access these. I almost feel like I might have missed some. Oh, cool. There's a photo mode. Whenever we get the right angle or under shots, use photo mode to craft tailor-made images that'll dazzle your, your friends and followers. Ha, huh, that's cool. Oh, abilities. But once we spin the abilities tab to acquire new abilities, as well as upgrade existing ones, if you're unsatisfied with class current build, reset all abilities to try again, as there's no penalty for doing so. That's convenient. Details of each ability can be, if feet can be viewed by selecting its icon. Sword indicates an ability's capacity for doing damage. Uh, stun indicates an ability's capacity for breaking a target's will. Cool. Press R2 immediately after landing a melee attack to deliver a close range magic burst. Charge magic. Hold R2 to increase the potency of magic released to cast. Well, that's neat. Oh, stomp. X while in the air to kick off a nearby enemy, increasing jump height and duration. Swift recovery. Circle to immediately recover after being knocked back or, or back or down by an enemy. Ah, okay. Air recovery. Very Kingdom Heartsy. Taunt. Square and the touchpad to pull attention of an, of an enemy target. Ah, I see. So that's what that's for. Hold R, R1 to view class blade with fire. Neat. R1, R2, while in the air to slice down. Oh, so uh, Helmbringer. R1, R2 to swiftly close in on attack at just an enemy. Okay, so Stinger. I'll definitely go with Stinger then. And swift recovery. And this funny little stop thing. Not exactly the most well-maintained path. But who do you imagine would maintain it? They all fled from the blight. Oh, hey. Now I can't attack whenever I want. Cool. Well, all right, guys. I think this is probably a good spot to end things here for now. We're off to a pretty dope star. I mean, it's a lot of exposition, a lot of, uh, a lot of storytelling and cutscenes, which I'm fine with. As long as the story they're telling is compelling enough, I'm fine if it's, like, you know, a little front-loaded with, like, story and setup and everything. Kingdom Hearts 2 was just like that, too, with a huge, insane long prologue with a ton of talking, but uh, I fucking love it, because I love Roxas, and I love the story around uh, Twilight Town. I mean, it's all of his weird seven wonders and stuff. But yeah, this is really intriguing so far. I'm uh, definitely looking forward to uh, coming back to this. I, I hear that the prologue is apparently supposed to be, like, two-plus hours, so I think we should be able to potentially complete it next episode the nice thing too is i mean if technically if i if we do finish it the next video that means that we'll just have like basically one day one free day that i could potentially use for a stream or something before essentially just continuing our let's play which will be on i think thursday yeah of next thursday of next week but uh anyway guys i hope you all enjoyed this episode and are excited for this series if you are, please do leave a like and a favorite. It really does help me out. And honestly, I know a lot of people are going to be playing through this game and doing Let's Plays and covering it. So the fact that you're choosing to potentially watch this series with me, uh, that really means a lot. So thank you. I hope you stick around. And hey, if you haven't already, why not subscribe to become a Peaky Penguin? Aboard the SLP, where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. I already can't wait to play more of this. This is, this is already off to a great start. I can't wait to watch to see what how the gameplay evolves as I get more and more uh, crazy moves as well. But anyway, guys, as always, till next time, stay classy.